I can finally get back outside to do some of my bigger projects that I love to do in the summer. Hey, I'm Janelle. This is to DIY for, and I got this chair off of a Facebook buy and sell group in my area for nothing. It's just like a free trade kind of area. And this chair I thought was gorgeous and really just needed some minor improvements. You don't have to reupholster this. I tested out a new product and love how this turned out. Let me show you how I gave this chair a very quick and easy refresh. All right, so here's a look at the chair that I was able to get for free from one of my neighbors. As you can see, the bottom's a little bit destroyed. She said her cat got into it. Also, these legs looking a little rough, need a refinish. These are both really easy fixes. And the chair itself is in really good condition. I had originally thought that I might actually recover it with different fabric, but I've got a way easier idea to show you today. So um, first off, just gonna remove this. And what I thought I was gonna do is remove the legs as well but they were glued solid to the chair so just put those screws back in and what we did instead was just um, sand down the legs while they were still attached to the chair not a big deal because I do have another smaller sandal sander that I was able to get into some of those closer cracks closer to the chair so this really made some quick work of any nicks and stuff brought it down to that beautiful natural wood and what I thought was like Maybe it's a stretch. Maybe if I just clean this really well, um, uh, it'll look great. So the thing is, is that on the camera right now, you can't see how kind of dingy and yellowy it looks. So what I did instead was some research and I found this fusion mineral paint. Now this is for fabrics. It works on vinyl. It is a fantastic paint, a little expensive. Cost me about $30 for that. I ended up using about a quarter of that container. But honestly, this is cheaper than getting fabric and recovering it and so easy. I did one coat on this and it looks brand new, got into all of those crevices and it's just as simple as painting a wall. So I did allow that to dry overnight before I flipped it over and sealed the legs in just with some polyurethane. I love the natural wood tone. So I did two coats of polyurethane with some sanding in between. And then the bottom here, just replacing that fabric. This is actually the fabric that you can get at the garden center right now to kind of uh, put down on the ground so the weeds don't come up through your garden beds and things like that. So it's basically the same fabric, it's really inexpensive and you just staple that into place. So here is a better look at what the chair looks like completely finished. You can see all the grooves in this kind of vinyl that was on here. Um, it filled in completely with that paint. A little more about that paint. You do have to let it cure for quite a long time um, before it's going to be Perfect. And when I say perfect, I mean, you can literally scrub this and the paint's not gonna come off. You can scrub away any dirt. It is incredible. It doesn't crack when you sit on it. I absolutely love this mineral uh, fusion mineral paint and I think it is totally worth the money and I love how this new chair looks. Let me know what you thought of the DIY and I'll be back next week with a new one.